It's why Ying, she's not getting passed up this time. So Milo too. <laughs> Just wait. And this is to go even further beyond. Ah! 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 Ying, Ying hit the gym. She really this did. Is, we're not going to be able to cover everything. Uh, uh, Ying 2.0 online. Hello Paladins, and welcome to a guide to the most versatile character in the game. Ying! Don't be fooled. What she hides beneath her mask of cute innocence is actually the face of a psychotic murder machine. She may seem easy to play at first, but her complex kit of skills allows players with good aim and game sense to take things to an entirely different level. What I'm going to show you today is a high risk high reward play style, utilizing all of her skills to their maximum potential to create the highest game impact possible. Not only will you be able to assist your team with healing, you'll also output enormous amounts of damage, draw enemy aggro, and engage enemies like no other support can. And that starts with knowing how her skills actually work. If you've ever played Yin you might have at some point thought, where the fuck am I, and what am I doing here? In this case, knowledge is half the battle. By knowing exactly where you'll teleport to at all times, you'll be able to make better decisions about when you can be aggressive, and how hard you can dive. If you're pointing to an illusion, Dimensional Link will always teleport you to that location, having you and the illusion swap places. Besides that, Dimensional Link has two phases. One that happens before you cast it, and one that happens while in the duration of the skill. When not targeting an illusion, your first cast of Dimensional Link will teleport you to the furthest illusion from you that's alive. If there's only one illusion up, you will swap places with that one. This means if someone kills one of your illusions, or it happens to expire, you may end up teleporting to a position you didn't intend. Once cast, Dimensional Link locks in the locations of three positions that the rest of your non-targeted blinks use during its duration, each subsequent cast blinking you to the next spot in the cycle. The most important thing when going on the offensive is to always have an anchor. An illusion you place in a safe spot, either in the back, or near your team, that you can use to retreat to if things get spicy. These are the main loadouts I use, with resonance in every situation. Some of the following tactics can be used with focusing lens or lifelike, but I'd only recommend those routes, if you are an aimbot or a lobotomized pigeon, respectively. And now, enough chit chat. Come on, let's go.
next champion coming to the realm will be a support. She is a very... Oh, and I said she. Oh, well, oh. The spoils. Uh, yep. This support character is very uh, aggressive. Um, very fast-paced, aggressive. Um. I like where this is going. <laughs> 30 seconds remaining. and rewarding to play mm -hmm. uh, while at the same time improving upon it doing some new stuff too that w you haven't seen yet guys so um, new support is, uh, she's we'll super be... fun to play yes yes and scary okay now things are getting weird
kill. Trigger oh, kill. Yes, we are in the low. Escort the payload. When they start pushing, you back up and I'll go to point. Yo, nice. Uh, Good kill. Are you guys in help or Ass is one. Ass is one. I don't know where he's coming. He's coming right here. He's coming right here.
first blood. Side note, be careful when practicing in shooting range. Don't hold left click while casting dimensional link, or it will snap you back, instead of blinking you to the proper place. Also, depending on your connection, you will have to get used to a certain amount of delay in a real game. If you made it through this entire video, congratulations you get nothing. But if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them at me in the comments below, and I'll be able to explain in further detail. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you like pineapple on pizza. understand.